Hello and welcome back to a new Hearts of Iron series. Uh, before we start, just a little bit of a channel update. I know I haven't been really regularly uploading lately. That was due to me getting close to graduating from college. Well, you are allowed to congratulate me. I have my bachelor's degree. Woohoo! I made it. So, yeah. Uh, happy days, but it uh, gives me a bit more time and less stress to work a little bit more for the channel. So, yeah. Hopefully, we can uh, do a little bit more, well, Hearts of Iron for one. So, let's start with that. Um, I had an idea pop up, and another one person, I had a similar idea uh, suggested in the comments. So, we're going to do that. We're going to do another strange little world. Um, however, we're going to do a little bit of work at the start, and I want you to join me in that work. So, we're going to play as japan however i will not start as japan i will start as china that has a reason however first things first we're gonna uh change the uh some of the settings not free world anyway we're not gonna strengthen anything united states is gonna become a democratic alternative germany i'm fine with it you know what why don't you try to restore the kaiser um I'd like you to go uh, alternate. Well, we were playing as Japan, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, I'd like some fascist alternate. Why don't you go uh, fascist? Why don't you go fascist? Why don't you go communist? Get some communism going in the world as well. Communism, communism, communism. Get some communism there. But let's force like Europe. Um, be the fascist one and then we'll uh tell the um uh, i don't really care because i'm gonna fix that myself uh historical you know what put you on fucking random uh we'll see what this turns out put you a default let's uh communist Neutral black shirts. I believe this is one of the fascism. Why don't you uh, uh, go communist, nationalist, fascist? In Mexico. Why don't you do a little bit of uh, I don't know, Soviet Republican? There we go. War goals are free at 100% world tension. Uh, the rest of it, I'm gonna stay the same. Right, keeping the colonies as is, save the world. Um, random, I guess. Um, uh, fascist, yeah, that's, I, I cannot, not write that. Uh, Europe, basically, that reminds me of that, right. Okay, so that's the setup. Um, we'll do not use historical AI because that doesn't work. And we're going to start out as China because I kind of want to remove China out of the equation in its current state. So what we're going to do, that might be a little bit weird. We are going to immediately at the start of the game, occupy territories and return everything to Tibet. Force us to become an observer, doesn't matter. Then we're going to click on uh, Japan, and I believe, no, 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 I want to observe through, yes, and then you can take control of Japan, and we should be Japan now, and if I can save it as Japan, and then I'll load the game, and then, because now I'm no longer in the weird observer mode, I believe. And I'm just Japan. There we go. And we're Japan. With a communist China already available to the world. So, yeah, here we are. The idea behind the game is as follows. There will be uh, two democratic nations in the world. So this is not going to be as long as the um, German campaign where we did. We're really only democracy in the world. We're going to keep the United States of America as an ally. So we're going to have the Pacific Treaty Organization. Instead of the... Uh, North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Is it Treaty Organization? Treaty? 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 
Yeah, treaty organization. It's a shitty name, but it is, it is NATO. Basically, we're gonna do PDO. Um, so, yeah. That is that. Um, let's build it. Oh, I'm gonna take a, take a look at it later proper. Uh, first things first, we are gonna strengthen the civilian government. We got some unsigned divisions. We got a lot of them actually. Let's start figuring out what the hell we have. I believe you will have some weird ass shit laying about. And I've got another type of infantry and regular infantry. Now, what does the infantry look like? I do not like this template. Neither do I like this one. All right, we'll do it as follows. We'll switch you all over to that. Um, Bart you back in here. And this is gonna all become, okay, you're also infantry. Let's get you a new group. Uh, we'll make you all motorized. Probably won't use them. You'll stay as tankies, that's fine. And we've got two guys that can lead this. Uh, yeah, I think you'll work and you'll do respond to be responsible for these lads. Uh, you've got some infantry expertise. Um, that extra river attack might actually be pretty cool to put it in that one. 23 selected. Need to put a new group in there. Yeah. And put these two over here. There we go. Another infantry leader. Why don't you start leading that? And we'll get. Do we have anybody who has some expertise with tanks? I thought I saw Tanky there. No. Oh, but you'll be the guy for the job. Right, now I have very little knowledge about how this will turn out in the end. Um, due to how things are set up. I have never played as a demo democratic Japan. So I am kind of looking forward to see what the result of all of this is going to be. And whoop. Now Navy is going to be, I think, less important because we are, there's three large Navy countries, Japan, United States and the UK. And since considering that, you know, the US and me are going to try to form a little lone faction, shouldn't be that much of a problem. I do want carrier naval bombers, but one is fine. Is there, do we have a carrier naval fighters? Yep. Well. And get one of them. Interwar fighters. Do I have interwar close air support? Yes. Yeah, so let's build those as well. Well, it's not interwar close air support, but regular close air support. No, 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 no. Right. Um, gotta need some of this. Gotta need some of that i think two and two is fine and we're gonna produce a lot of guns on the remainder right we already have a decision available apparently and that's i guess some paramilitary training which i'm not gonna do um mods we are actually using a list of mods we're using the mi2 or the ml2s um a graphical mod which changes the way our infantry will look as well as the same as the German uh, campaign, we're using the 9060s technology mod because I really, really liked it. Um, will we actually now go for these? What's the biggest difference between these two? Uh, more air attack. But not a ground attack. No, wait. Less ground attack? What is it? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, these are more pure fighters, it seems. So, we'll be going the interceptor route. Right, civilian factories. Let's start doing the standard thing that I always do. Because this is a naval province, we'll put that in there. We'll put that in there. Uh, one, two. Navy is important. Oh, this is not our territory, so I'm not going to build in there. Right. Um, let's see. Um... Uh, let's see, navels fine there, that's fine there, there's three here, two here. Basically I'm trying to do a one third, it's going to be naval production. However, um, it's going to be rounded down with a preference for civilian, so this is already fine. Fuel silo will be removed, because I don't care for it. However, this is only two, um, 
the preference will go for navy because I think it's more important. Nope. Uh, and what do we have over here? Yeah, fuel silo needs to be removed. Um, I don't like fuel silos. I rather import the oil instead of uh, banking on on the rest of it. So that's this. Um, one civilian and the rest is military. And I'll reorganize this list later. Um, there we go. Um, yeah, I need a military factory there. One military, two civilian. Uh, the fuel silo needs to go. And then that, I believe, is one military, civilian. Either I can... There we go. See, I'm doing... I'm making mistakes. There we go. Check it here. Three, three, two. Yes, there's uh, a military factory here. One, two, fuel silo, get out of there. We're not doing much in the beginning anyway. Get that guy in there, get that guy in there, in there. Right, there's some factories on the islands that we have. There we go, there we go. Allows me still to see anything really, so there we go. Right, um, let me see, move all of these up. All right, let's start with that. Missing equipment in production is motorized. Right, I actually did have a large chunk of motorized. Also, have tanks, I also need to look at that. Just don't really have the best economy, really, as Japan. So, we'll do this. I'm actually gonna modify slightly the army. One, two, three. Put them into there, convert them to regular infantry. How many of these can I convert to Marines? Another uh, one. Let's see, maybe one more. Show me not one more. Okay. Okay, we originally only had two, there we go, okay, so, we're joining this guy, um, what do you have for me, Fortress Buster, yeah, pick it up, that's always really good, oh, we don't have the points for it, of course, um, I'm gonna change your color to a light blue and with that, let's give you a, put you on yellow, you on red, you on green. And you can stick it orange. Right, that gets all the coloring done. First, we'll probably okay. still be against uh, uh, China, but slightly different. Um, we'll prep the invasion immediately. There we go. And I have to take a look at a lot of stuff. Like the Navy, we had, we're going to reorganize the entire bit because I always actually tend to dislike how it's always set up, so put everything in reserve, right there, right, then the Air Force, same thing, never really like how that is set up, so let's move them in, and I guess that's basically all that is to be done for now. I'm not going to move the uh, army because I'm, I'm okay with where they're at, um, we need some trade with the United States, because considering they won't be with our because ally soonish, that's East Indies. Um, and yeah, let's build up the army. Right, so all my ships are in here, merged them in. Let's see what we have, 52. Okay, let's give me uh, one submarine. Uh, there we go. Uh, submarine, orange. Uh, that's not a submarine. That's a submarine, orange. Uh, automatic uh, template. There we go, save as subs, save it. Okay, that's the first template. Get them a guy that is good with, happens to be good with submarines. We, yeah, you have some natural stuff for that. All right, that's one. Two, I want a carrier uh, fleet, so 
Uh, this is going to be the bigger, big hitter. So the icon is right, which should be red. Um, white, well, red. There we go. Um, there we go. We're actually going to use this one. This just makes it a little bit more. Like it is a carrier fleet, so I think it should be that. Yeah, this is like stupid stuff that I really need to do at, at, at the start of the game. This is like, I think, the biggest gripe that I might have with the game on occasion. I don't care about battleships in this, but I will make a remainder fleet uh, out of it. So this will be a carrier. To, well, carrier will be fine for me. So I also need destroyers. Probably it's going to be screen destroyers. Um, going to be light cruisers, which I'll designate with these. 25 and let's see 15 get you a size 42 you know what let's go 35 15 35 12 that works for me all right and that is the carrier battle group um heavy ships will be designated later and i'll fix it uh, in a later date and i think i'm going to reclassify the cruisers um right now um so i'm actually not gonna produce this guy i do want the carriers and i don't want this heavy ship well there you go uh are you a capital cruiser let's gonna get rid of some of this um convert the cruiser hulk and go just finish whatever that's fine um so this is the battle cruiser thing that i don't like because it's a mine layer a couple of destroyer versions here. What's the, or submarines? What's the difference? Mine laying submarine. Go. That's you. You've got one torpedo room. You have two torpedo rooms. So you're also obsolete. There we go. Right. Uh, mine layer can stay. Uh, your variance is just the difference is that we're gonna. Oh no, that's the wrong thing. I'm gonna update your classification for now. Um, wow, they really are hellbent on mine laying. Okay, anyway, that's that's the classification that we're gonna use for now. And then I need to set up one more uh, group. Uh, that's wrong. Yes, get rid of it. Um, and there we go. And you're gonna get your own thing. And it's gonna be yellowy that guy, and you need to be that guy as well. There you go. Whoop. Right, then we're gonna tell you to be 16 destroyers, four light cruisers, a patrol template. Save it. Okay, there we go. Now, did I save the task force? Nope, I didn't. Please we don't. Forgetting that at all times. Uh, carriers, save. Okay, assign a guy. You have carrier potential. You will be. Uh, there we go. Right. Well, that is it for now. And I just need to put these guys, get them, give them their orders. Um, you're automatically with supply and repair on medium. Same for you. Right. Um, now, if I put them on training, they should uh, reinforce automatically, and I will have a good look at what is remaining. Because I have a lot of these punchy ships, which is probably okay. So I'm gonna get another. Um, Carrier, well, task force. This is a carrier group. All right, and put in training. This should start eating a lot of the ships as well. All right. Then still have a lot of cruisers that are still designated wrongly. Um, one. I know, I know, the boring crap. Basically, usually you can skip the first episode. This is just me trying to set up everything anyway, so... Uh, it is the more depth that they add to the game, the more uh, you spend your early... Uh, uh, 
part of the game just setting up. But, uh, if you compare it to like things like Stellaris, where you just start with a small nation, you're, you've got nothing, so it doesn't really matter. So you can start with, you know, like I've selected my researchers and I'm done. That's wrong. You're a sub. There you go. Did I do that wrong for you as well? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, patrol, subs, numbnuts. There we go. And... But in Hearts of Fire and 4, you just start in a nation that has already done quite a lot. So there's a lot of work just that has to be done. Uh, I think what I'm going to do with these is just split them in two. Add them to here. And you have no resupply. You automatically split off. Yeah, and you'll be, yeah, you'll be the big, the punchy guys. And then we're going to stop the training because it's just going to be a waste. There we go. All right, that's the Navy done. Air Force remaining. What do we have? Merge them up. That's a split. There we go. Merge them up. I don't want these guys ever on land. And this is uh, fighters and bombers can go. There we go. Um, let's split these in three. That's four, but I cannot count anyway. So how many armies do I have? Five. So let's just do this ahead of time. Split this guy. There we go. All right. And uh, put this at... There we go. And I won't we need to up these to like... 50. There we go. Okay. Um, you are allowed to do this. There we go. There we go. Um, and I need to actually adjust these guys so they don't do that one. There we go. Group one, group two, group. Three, uh, group four and group five. There we go. Okay, there we go. Let's just save it in case something goes horribly wrong and I don't really want to redo it. We spent 20 minutes basically just starting to set up the game. That's it. That's all we were doing. Yeah, playing some reserve. That's all fine. That should be the case. Um, now I actually have still got some work left to do, which is the carriers because they these guys don't have any fleets set up. Right. Um, 40, 40, uh, 20, uh, 20, there we go, that's that carrier force, where's the other one? I should have four carriers and I'm only currently finding two. Ah, there's the other ones. Might have deleted those, uh, uh, wings, but... There we go, and then we need to tell you to be 40. There we go, and 20, there we go. Okay, carriers are set up, and I'm gonna just start a land lease towards you. Of some obsolete equipment. Uh, once, once, six, nine. Once, 54. Producing the rest of it, so that's okay. I don't want to send any else. Uh, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Send it, there we go. All right, they accepted the land lease. Yeah, they bloody well should. There we go, right, need a little bit more steel. Trip to the United States, there we go, right. And production is happening. We have a very crappy economy, so hey, awesome. Um, abandon the naval treaties. You know what? Yeah. Go, uh, go do something that I should not pronounce here. Am I going to finish this carrier? I don't think I will. You know what? This one, okay, this one is nearly done, so I will finish this one. But that's about it. These are all for bookies. This is, these are destroyers. You're no longer a submarine that should be produced to begin with, but for now we'll accept it. I might need to tell um, my some of my ships to be retrofitted. Yeah. Refit ships to 
Um, I should select all of them, really. There we go. Can I just get all of them? There we go. Refit to these submarines. Uh, okay, these guys don't need to be refit. Neither do these. Good. Um, no refitting here. No refitting here. I don't know exactly what's going on there, but how do they claim they can do a little bit of refitting? You know what? Refit to that. Standardizes at least everything a little bit. And nothing can be refit in these two fleets, so. Sadly, I cannot reclassify these cruisers, I think. Oh, I can. Maybe I should. That'll be a little bit of work, but... Well, let's get all these cruisers. I hate it, it's like 50 different models of cruisers. I fit them as that one, and these guys will be fitted as destroyers. So there's a lot of work regarding, um, yup, the ships. So our dockyards will be busy for a while. But the new destroyers are necessary, so we'll keep that one going. All right. Um, let's start with getting an extra well you know what the research slots is not really what i need right now Alrighty. um there we go let's start with the political power game now will with doing this will yeah we will start moving towards a democracy and we'll start adding on to that as well all right mechanical computing we have for me second london naval conference i thought i pulled out of that shit oh it's just something that's gonna run out all right test the soviets let's not do that <laughs> uh, it's yeah hmm Army aircraft or naval aircraft. Steel for ships or steel for... I think steel for guns will be more important right now. So let's start with that. I think this one will balance the other one out immediately. Second London Navy Treaty signed. Yeah, why would they restrict themselves? Idiots. Um, as I have a deficit of equipment, I definitely am not gonna worry about getting the newest uh, or new troops because that makes no sense at all i will look for all right let's get some of these aa guns considering how our industry looks i don't think it's really easy to warrant it to train anything new basically um right Alright, let's uh, keep on working. We'll get a civil war, I think, so why don't we uh, start by... Uh... Now, I think with the current state of the game, civil war uh, army sizes are determined ahead of time. Same with Germany, if you don't have a single army standing, it will spawn all the troops that you would have otherwise, so they're funny like that. No, whatever. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a bit of civil war. Um, right, I still... Okay, so... Factory... It's really just a choosing of what are we going for. What is this? Well, active, factory output... 
place. Right. Okay. Basically, either do you purchase the army or the navy? Well, I think in our case, we will purchase probably the army. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna let the first episode run a little bit longer due to the fact that we spent most of it, you know, trying to get some shit done. Basically, it's the setup uh, of the game, the working conditions. So what are these fines? So this is really necessary. We Spanish Civil War. We could send in some troops if we want to. But I don't want to. Because there are... I don't have equipment. Renewal of the Rome Protocols. At Hungary Institution, Italy, Austria, and Hungary. I renewed Rome Protocols. The agreements... Okay. Who pushes that event? I've never... Oh, wait. <laughs> I've got a fun Civil War here going. Right, I did say try to introduce the Kaiser. I don't know who forced that event to fire, but it causes some interesting shit. So let's get our radios. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so we're going to have a little bit of... There's going to be a lot of civil wars going on, apparently. Because I believe... Release Korea, Korea will come free. But what if I do not do this? And just... Yeah, so... What if I just don't do it like that and maintain... Like, is this considered core territory? No. So I, I think it's better to even release Korea to begin with. But for now, I'll stick with it. What if I don't go for the Civil War option and just let this do this the, well, not classic way, but the, what the other people do as well, like open for, up for political discourse, that kind of stuff. Might not be showing to prevent me from doing such a thing. We'll have to see how this turns out. I am uh, intrigued and I'm wondering how this is going to look. Limited exports make sense because we don't have that many resources. Uh, yeah, the United States is going to be our big friend. They're going to be an alternative democracy, so that's going to be interesting. Right. Um, I can invest in them. Should I? Is that going to go free? I really don't want to do that yet. So... I think I'd rather invest in some other crap. I've got a lot left to do anyway, so... Uh, okay, we're working on the rebuilding. That's pretty good. Um, wait, does that mean that... The, that oh, is that carrier already done? Wow, it is. Carry fighter, civil bombers. Wait, you have bigger storage, right? Yeah, deck size 60. I do not accept that. That's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Five. Forty. There we go. Oh, oh. All right. Um, get the direct fire thingy. Uh, we're in still October, so I have some time left. Get some logistics companies. What do we have here? Right, I can go to the next step here. Now, if I would go and pr prioritize the army again. Well, this is not going to help me right now. But it will even lower my dockyard up. I think I do want to balance this as much as I can. Oh, 2% recruitable population is really good. I, think, I don't think I'm going to need it. I'd rather have the factory and... Uh, outputs. Right, then Special Forces Capacity Multiplier or Special Forces Deck Defense. Definitely gotta do this one. And then I think I just do Army. So this would balance it out pretty damn nicely. So... Um... Yeah. There we go. That looks like a plan. How long before you have enough guns? About 600 days. Makes sense. 
It's not really producing anything really that is going to increase it. Um, Ramp of cool. I still don't see why I would do it, but I don't think I have an alternative. Because um, normally it would say in political actions, open up for political discourse. Especially because if I have selected the reformer to do so. So I think the only option is to, to go into that civil war. Oh well. Um, I don't care for these. I do want these eventually, but I don't care for them right now. Yeah, what do I do with the Kaugao guns? Uh, do I go for ATs? I don't think so. Definitely gotta go for mobile warfare doctrine. And... All things considered, going to war right now would probably be a bad idea, but... I think I'm just gonna risk it. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's the best thing that I could do. I wonder if China is uh, thinking about himself right now, having 36 million people available, because they start up service by requirement. Ugh, they're gonna be scary. They're gonna be really scary, and I'm hoping that the other Chinese guys are gonna be a little bit of a counteraction, but, it, you know, fighting against the early unified China is gonna be just a bitch to do. Soviet frontier groups, you don't need it, you already have China. Still want to figure out how I, the best, the easiest way to win is Communist China. Last time I did it on an Iron Man game, um, I was doing really well. But then you have the uh, event eventually that happens where China switches ownership. Like, um, the biggest China is always China. So the biggest warlord is China, uh, so to say. Um, and what happened... I'm trying to think at the same time, sorry. What happened was that, um, oh, we're in January. Sorry, I should switch this out to something else. Um, broop. There we go. All of these warlords uh, were then be pulled into the war, become the new China. And the first one decided, well, you know what? I'll join the allies. So then it was war with, war with the allies. The second one decided, I'll join the Axis. And then it wasn't war with the Axis. The third one decided, I'll join the common term. So then I was at war with the common term as well. So there you're sitting there like, this went really well until this mechanic could just start, you know, screwing me over. God damn it. All right, let's pick up the infantry expert. I don't think we'll get him in time, but I still want this guy. Come on, man. No, that's that's just good stats. Uh, probably also pick up this guy as well as... Yeah. Oh, wait. Carrier sword efficiency might be okay. Let me just... Let me just... Let this rule for a little while longer. Ah, you know what. Let's go. Civil War it is. Um, right. So we keep some of our organization. Some of our troops as well. Um, you are gonna go and I guess okay. Gotta be a little bit of work that needs to be done. Invade from here into Nagasaki, see if you can get it done. We have nobody remaining of our leaders, it seems. Alright, so first things first. I think a lot of our samurai lineage guys are gone. Oh well, you I wish you are our supply commando guy, so you I'll supply commander guy, you. And I need to promote some dudes. Um, let me check. You're an old guard, don't like that. You're cautious. You're know, a cavalry officer. I don't think we're gonna. Oh well, I have it. So for now, you have a four plus ability. Good for you, I guess. You know what? We'll pull in this guy. On here. Anybody else? We have some natural tendency for infantry and some decent stats. So decent abilities already, so... Uh, there we go. Offense first. And organization. Nothing. You might have something. None of this is interesting to me. You have nothing. You have some offensive doctrine and some organization first. I'm out of points, okay. I also have some unassigned divisions. They're gonna be assigned to you. Okay, um, front line here. 
I think I'm gonna just tell these two to bolt this here. Can you, uh, please just assign your orders there? I don't know what else you would do, so... Now, my navy probably looks like ass. Because it got probably stripped of a lot of its uh, everything. So, uh, let me just uh, merge these in together. And uh, get rid of this guy as a reserve. And then, there we go. Alright. Um, let's have some fun. It's a terrible idea. Uh, what do we... Control this area. And wait, what are you? Okay, you you stayed. Good, you stayed. You didn't. Are you this entire fleet thing is now I don't know, my carrier template. Okay. Don't care about that anymore. Just everything that you've got. You got all these 21 guys get in here. And Look at the aircraft as well, but it's okay. And patrol here, I guess, for now. Basically, if they find anything, I want it to be engaged, basically. Uh, and yeah, go for Nagasaki, I guess. Nobody has equipment, so maybe I just should just dig in initially. Alright, so guy, these guys made it. Alright, there we go. We have achieved civil war. Okay, did not expect that. Um, there we go. Probably uh, a large portion of the fleet that I'd set up. No longer, uh... Wait, what? can I just drive into my Osaka? Well, maybe I actually can go. Kakura. Okay, no, no, okay, we found at least some resistance. Uh, I need more shit. Um, to support that one. I'm with this guy. Uh, why don't you go over here or so over there? Okay. Um. Let's see if we can get in there. It's a bit dangerous what I'm doing, but if this is working. Just wanna, I want to keep this back line open because this is kind of a big problem otherwise. Uh, let's do it like this. Make sure to organize something in the UK. Alright, I'm going to keep them here and assign both these lads to it. Logistic companies. Um, just to push through there. Can I get one of you to just uh, maybe just build through there? <laughs> Alright, so that's that. Um, let's see. Supremacy of the battle fleet. Carrier warfare experimentation. I still prefer carriers, so. Well fun things and all, but I doubt this is going to help me. Carriers are the king, and uh, later, especially later stages of the game, the sh I tend to suffer most of my losses in naval warfare due to aircraft. So, and I'm not going to get any assistance during this war, of course. So that sucks. Some fully fledged Italian troops to uh, fight against us. I don't know why I'm just gonna sit here, but whatever. It works, it works. Right. Um, I think I fucked up somewhere. This order no longer exists. Right. Um, 
some construction going. Usual. Um, I still... Can I... Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm not producing any guns in all likelihood. Yeah, I'm not producing basically anything. Uh, two... Two... One, 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 one... And then two guns. Oh, fuck, they invaded the north. Ah, oh, shit. Um... Either they did not invade the north and I didn't have it, that might also be the case. This is a good start of the, of the, of the game, isn't it? Alright, um, this can be solved a little bit easier. There, there we go. I need one of these to go right there, and the others just to attack that. So there's one guy. Hindenburg disaster. That's gonna make things difficult for them to reinstate the Kaiserreich. Um, we'll have to see how this uh, ends up going. Um, I think I really should put you on patrol there to prevent this northern area from really falling into enemy hands. I still have some. Sh oh wait, these are all still set up for. Yeah. Right, uh, for now, I don't really care, I guess, so... Yeah. Just don't refit right now. Um, yeah, I just patrol this area, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look at that more proper later. For now, I don't really care. With that, however, I'm actually gonna end the episode. I wanna thank you guys for watching and see you hopefully in the next one. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.